Hi everyone. Today is Monday, actually Monday morning, November 25th. It's Monday. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist with the National Weather Service at the Salt Lake City Weather Forecast Office at the airport. And this is a mountain weather briefing. And we've got a winter storm on the way. And it looks quite good. So what we see as of today, what we're looking at is a rendition of the winds, the jet stream actually, at about 25,000 feet. That big red area that's swooping down into the coast uh, coming into Utah is bringing all sorts of energy, moisture, dynamics, really good winter storm. And it's due to the high that's retrograded out over the Pacific, leaving the door open. So let's look at some of the details of this system. When we look at the Logan Mountains, what we're going to find is snow totals from 18 to 24 inches. And what we're looking at is this system, we're going to talk about this in two parts. Early uh, Monday and Tuesday is the first part of this. That's going to be northwest flow. There's going to be br a break um, later Tuesday, and then we're going to start a second part of this storm, Wednesday through Friday night. Uh, it's going to come out of the northwest with the first part, and then the second part is going to be out of the south, southwest. Uh, wind uh, the densities are going to be a little different as we go. It's a kind of a complex system, so keep that in mind. But when we look at the Logan Mountains and we talk about uh, snow total, snow water equivalent, think about 1.25 to 1.75 inches through the entire event. It's going to start Monday morning. It's going to end Friday evening with that break in the middle. And then what we're going to find is the greatest snow intensity for this area is Wednesday late. And then we're going to see peak snowfall rates at about 1 to 2 inches per hour. The snow level at the onset is going to be at the valley floor. It's going to be a cold system. Snow level at the storm's end is the valley floor. Snow density trends are going to start light. Then they're going to get heavier as the second part of the storm comes through. And then we're going to be much more variable as we get these different waves. We could get at least three different waves coming through here, which makes it kind of a difficult storm. And most likely what we're going to do is uh, do a refinement of this briefing probably Wednesday. When we look at the northern mountains, this is Powder Mountain, Snow Basin, those areas. What we find is snow totals 18 to 24 inches with snow water cooling about 1.25 to 1.75 in this whole time. It's going to start today. It's already started there right now. It's going to end Friday evening. And the greatest snow intensity is Thursday morning with about 1 to 2 inches per hour. Again, it's a cold system, and that variable snow density is going to kind of mess around with us for the week. And then we go to the central Wasatch. This is the front side. What we're looking at is a little cottonwood, you know, Alta, Snowbird, uh, Brighton, Solitude. Snow totals 18 to 30 inches, and this is that bigger range because this is a place that really favors northwest flow, uh, the cottonwoods. But then as with this system veers around, it comes back on the backside. Brighton can also benefit from southwest flow. So you were going to see some pockets of up to 30 inches of snow by Friday night with this, with a snow water equivalent of 1.75 to 2.25 inches. It's going to start Monday morning. It's going to end Friday evening. With the gr greatest snow intensity, sometime Thursday, and it will be periods of heavy snow, then back off, and then more heavy snow. Uh, as we were talking about, this is kind of a, a, a difficult system to forecast with detail that far out. But assume 2 plus inches per hour uh, down to the valley floors with that variable snow densities. Uh, when we look at the winds for this area, think of uh, the northwest flow is going to be in the beginning. And the winds are going to be uh, strong, but it's going to be the weaker section of those winds. So we're looking at right around sustained winds of 15 to 25 miles for all these northern areas with gusts of 45 out of the northwest. And then it's going to knock off about midday on Tuesday. And then what we're going to find is we're going to get increased winds uh, as it swings around to the southwest. And those... Those winds could be much higher, and they will be much higher. 35 to 45 sustained with gusts up to 70 out of the south, southwest, veering maybe to the southeast. So think of two parts. First part, not very windy with some wind out of the northwest, but the much stronger winds. Now let's get to the central and the back side. 
Uh, this is Deer Valley, Park City, and those areas. Now we're talking about the second part of the storm, which this area will do better with snow totals 18 to 24 inches. This is also Sundance, which is highly favorable in southwest flow up, up Provo Canyon with snow water equivalent of 1.75 to 2.25. It's going to start Monday morning and Friday night with the greatest snow intensity sometime on Thursday with 2 to 2.5 inches of peak snowfall rates. Uh, and that's due to that heavy southwest flow. It's going to be cold down to the valley floors with variable de uh, densities. Now let's shift over to the Uinas. And this is really mostly uh, up on, uh, for the Park City Potter Cat people, up that way. And what we'll look at is the snow totals of 18 inches to 24 inches with 1.5 to 2 inches of SWE. Uh, Monday afternoon, this is going to start on, ends on Friday night. And then with the greatest snow intensities during Thursday at about an inch and a half to two inches per hour. Cold system, variable snow densities, um, and we'll go with that. So, uh, I work with Glenn Merrill, uh, the meteorologist at the Weather Service. He did a lot of the meteorology on this. Uh, we were also on a call with the Utah Avalanche Center this morning. We all had a kind of a get-together meeting on how this is going to affect anything. So if you do go in the backcountry, this is going to change conditions. Please consult the Utah Avalanche Center's page. They do a fabulous job. They're all over this. You can always find us on Facebook, on Twitter, um, and you can always go to the National Weather Service's page for more information. We're probably going to upgrade this briefing Wednesday, uh, maybe on Thursday, just to give this uh, a better feel for how we're going. But until then, anticipate a storm with two parts like we talked about. Stay safe and uh, stay tuned. We'll do some more, but this is good. Ciao.